From dazzling new costumes and beautiful sets to changes in the storyline about Penn's weight. The Bridgerton Season 3 teaser photos have been revealed. Netflix has just dropped a sneak peek of the upcoming third season, and it's crazy. Prepare yourselves for some serious Penelope Featherington action as she sets her sights on her heartthrob, Colin Bridgerton. The brilliant Nicola Coughlin, who plays Penelope in the show, graced the stage at Two Doom, a global fan event in Brazil to reveal the photos. And let me tell you, they're a feast for the eyes, with beautiful sets and dazzling costumes. We're talking red hair that's impossible to miss and enough corsets to make your head spin. There's also a super cute shot of Colin and Penelope looking at each other playfully, and another one with Penelope looking sad, leaning on her windowsill. Emotions are going to be high in this one. Remember when Coughlin spilled the beans earlier? She promised that Penelope was about to blossom into a full-fledged woman in season three. She wasn't lying. It's finally happening. This time around, Penelope is leaving her shell behind and is ready to claim the love she truly deserves. Coughlin says that this year is the one for Penelope. After all that tension, things are finally about to heat up with Colin. This season marks her glorious transformation into a woman. So get ready for romance, surprises, and a dash of scandal. It's all on the horizon. Apparently, things are going to get super hot. I mean, that's what Nicola Coughlin said. When asked just how scandalous things were going to get, Nicola didn't hold back. Very, was her answer. Imagine Lady Whistledown, our beloved gossip queen, in a bit of a pickle. She's got all these juicy secrets to manage, and let me tell you, it's no easy task. The scandal meter is off the charts, and Lady Whistledown is at the heart of it all. But wait, there's more. As if dealing with those secrets wasn't enough, she's also attempting to win the heart of her best friend's brother. Love affairs are popping up left and right, and they're positively scandalous. Nicholas says this season is taking scandal to a whole new level, and I'm ready for it. But when will it be released? It looks like we might have to do a little waiting. But the good news is that the cameras have stopped rolling on the set of Bridgerton season three. After kicking off production in July 2022, the third season has now entered the magical realm of post-production. Here's the tea, though. Initially, the plan was to wrap up production by February 2023. But as life loves to throw surprises our way, it took a bit longer than expected. Sometimes good things take time, right? But don't worry. Remember how season two made us wait for just over a year after the show's Netflix debut? With the filming of season three finally complete and COVID restrictions a thing of the past, we can hope for a late 2023 release. There's more good news on the horizon. It's been confirmed that Bridgerton will grace our screens not only for season three, but also for season four. There's more scandal, romance, and regal grandeur to come in the future. You know what's even more exciting? The fact that Simone Ashley and Jonathan Bailey are returning. The duo will be gracing our screens once again for both seasons three and four. Simone, who portrayed the spirited Kate in season two, spilled the tea on what's in store for her character and Anthony Bridgerton. In season two, we witnessed the push and pull between Kate and Anthony, but their journey's only just begun. Ashley hopes to see Kate let loose and embrace love alongside Anthony in season three. They deserve it, don't you think? That said, Ashley also expressed her desire to see a little bundle of joy enter the picture for our favorite couple. Yes, you heard right, a baby. Picture Kate as the Viscountess, ruling the household while learning from her beloved Anthony. They'll be a dynamic duo, no doubt. Hold on to your corsets, because season three promises to be a different kind of delightful. According to Ashley, it'll be a honeymoon phase for Kate and Anthony. Oh, and did I mention things are about to get steamy? Ashley hinted at the steaminess to come in season three, but she kept us guessing about which couple or couples would take center stage in those scorching moments. Ashley also teased that season three will be hotter than ever, and we'll witness a softer side of Kate. Let's address the elephant in the room, though. Rija Jean Page, the charismatic Duke of Hastings himself, did not grace us with his presence in season two, and it seems we'll have to bid him farewell once more for season three. In an Instagram post, Page confirmed that he wouldn't be reprising his role as the dashing Duke. He playfully mentioned that the papers made up the news while sharing a delightful photo of himself alongside Jonathan Bailey at Milan Fashion Week. 
how I envy their stylish ketchup over some truly excellent Italian coffee and basking in the warm sunshine. But wait, there's more bad news to digest. Phoebe Dynavor, who portrayed the lovely Daphne Bridgerton, won't be returning for season three either. She recently revealed that she won't be gracing our screens this time around. But she did leave a glimmer of hope for the future, hinting that she may make a comeback in later seasons. Let's keep our fingers crossed for a future reunion with Daphne. Also, starting in season three, the role of Francesca Bridgerton will be taken over by the talented Hannah Dodd. She'll step into the shoes previously filled by Ruby Stokes, who decided to leave Bridgerton to star in Netflix's Lockwood & Company. It seems like a new era is dawning for the character of Francesca. You may have noticed that she was not as prominently featured in season two, and there's a reason for that. Stokes' filming schedule became conflicted, making it challenging to continue her involvement in Bridgerton. As creator Chris Van Dusen shared, I love Francesca, but we lost her midway through season two. Despite exploring all possible solutions, it ultimately became necessary for Stokes to step away because of circumstances beyond their control. But the show must go on, and Hannah Dodd is ready to breathe new life into the character. Dodd's recent appearance as young Sophie in Anatomy of a Scandal showcased her talent, and we can look forward to seeing her bring a fresh perspective to the role. I know that changes can be bittersweet, but hey, maybe it'll turn out to be great. Who knows? Plus, there's one more change. Shonda Rhimes, the genius behind the show, is shaking things up by ditching the book order. Instead of diving into Benedict's story in an offer from a gentleman, we're taking a detour and jumping straight into the lovey-dovey tale of Penelope and Colin in Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. I know some diehard book fans might raise an eyebrow, but let's give it a chance. It might actually make for better storytelling on the screen. Don't worry about missing out on anyone's story. The plan is to adapt all eight books eventually, so everyone will get their time in the limelight. So if you're worried about Benedict's adventure, just sit tight and enjoy the ride. I've got some more inside scoops on the upcoming season of Bridgerton. Remember that weight loss and makeover plot from the book Romancing Mr. Bridgerton? Well, it won't be making an appearance in the next season. Showrunner Chris Van Dusen said that they think that Penelope is beautiful, and they don't think it's really a part of her story. He emphasized that in the show, Penelope being a wallflower is more about her level of confidence than her outward appearance. So, it looks like we won't be witnessing a dramatic transformation for our beloved Penelope. In the official season three synopsis, we learn that Penelope had finally let go of her long-standing crush on Colin Bridgerton after overhearing his hurtful words about her in the last season. But she's determined to find a husband who'll give her the independence she craves allowing her to continue her secret life as Lady Whistledown away from her family.